Yo, it's your boy Adam, I'm back with another video on the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best custom tactics and instructions for Foot Champs Weekend League or whatever game mode you are playing. I hope you guys that are playing are getting on well. So good luck to you. Obviously, we're going to be streaming all 30 of our games on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Adam13. Link is down below. If you want to watch us live, ask any questions when we are streaming, then don't be afraid to come and join us. So just show you some clips for the first like minute, then I will run you through exactly what I do run in game. For me, the 4-2-3-1 is the most balanced formation on the game just because it allows you to have that defensive structure as well as the sort of attacking options up front and then it's down to you whether you're good enough to score the goals or not. But we do also play other formations as you will see depending on the scenario, winning your, or whether you're winning, losing, etc. Look, as you'll see here, we went from defensive to attack. We snuffed out his attack where we had like Neymar and Mbappe. So much pace up front and then we've gone all the way to our lone forward and we're one-on-one -on -one to score the goal. So let's run you through them right now this is my road to glory that i'm going to be taking to this weekend league and i have changed it up completely from last week just because i need five star skill moves up front i got tired of having ben yedda as good as he was he scored like 122 goals in 100 games which is phenomenal i don't regret having him it's just i really want the skills up front because i feel like he's more effective than the weak foot is this year but i wouldn't really want a less than a four star weak foot up front which is why we're going to have marcus rashford he is going to be our main striker in game this is purely for chemistry if you don't know and hopefully you are doing the same whatever formation suits your team we did pack mora and walker i really do highly recommend you have the fastest defenders possible on the game especially having something like shadow on there just because pace is absolutely critical this year i did buy Ferland mendy at the back just because militar was still getting outpaced by mbappe and neymar who i seem to be facing every game so that's the reason we have got a defender a fullback at defense so yeah make sure they've got good work rates if you are going to use one someone like aaron rambisak has got medium high the defensive way around and he's got high high which is good enough so without further ado let's run you through the tactics now we've got the defensive this is what we start with in game this is essentially our balance so by the d-pad we go left left if you don't know and then ultra defensive when we're winning by one goal 80th minute that sort of scenario attacking losing by one or two goals maybe half time 60 70th minute it's not crazy attacking then this on the ultra attacking when you're losing by three or four goals we've all been there when you can definitely come back and this is the one for you we'll start with the boring end the ultra defensive we run balance 4-1, so we reduce the defensive width by one just to keep it a bit more tight, narrow, and compact. The depth, we drop it to one. We do not want to concede at this stage. You can run drop back if you like, if I can find it. There it is. But I don't like it because it's just too deep for me, and I invite the opposition to pressure me more. And personally, I'm just not great at that. I'm better, when off, I'm better off when I have the ball and I'm in control of the game. So we only drop the depth and the width. Possession, offensive style, we do have possession just because we want to retain the ball a bit more when it's the last 10 minutes of the game, close it up. Five, and then one for everything. This is all personal preference, but I'm not looking to attack and score a goal at this sort of stage. I'm looking to shut it off and maybe counter attack occasionally. So that's that. Four, two, three, one. Like I said, it's probably the best formation when it comes to defending as well. So that's what we run. And I also, I do recommend, like, if you are going to use the four, two, three, one, use it to start the game and when you're defending. You can use it when you're looking to chase a goal as well, but you might be worth changing up your formations like I do. I don't just have one sort of formation for all my variations. But it's up to you anyway. So our fullbacks, we've got stay back on both of them. And then our DMs, we've got stay back and cover center. That's an essential, the cover center for that. And then obviously the reason I don't do balance, which I probably will later on in the year, is I do not have a box-to-box -box DM, someone that can really shoot and score goals, maybe like a Pogba, etc. But yeah, they're both not that great. So I don't really want them in those attacking situations. But that will change dependent on the players that I do have. We've got the Ram and then we've got the Lamb on comeback on the fence. And then obviously we've got the main camp on comeback on the fence as well. Just because we're trying to defend and hold on to our lead. The main forward is on mix and balance because we want him to be the outlet in case we do counter attack. Defensive, this is what we're going to be starting with. Balance 5-4. It is the 4 2 3 one again, just to let you know. So balance 5-4. So with up the width. By, by one I reckon for the defensive whip four or five is definitely optimum and then four depth is going to be good enough for me now that I've got Furlan Mendy I really do recommend maybe have three or two depth don't be afraid it's not drop back it's not crazy defensive but it just allow you to not get caught out by the pace with the through balls on this game because some of the forwards like in Naki Williams really just one pass in there one on one but yeah now with Mendy I'm going to be running it on four so maybe try out three if you're struggling conceding goals via that obviously we do have defending tutorials on our channel so you can check that out fences style balance and then we've got five four and two two this is personal preference i always go short on corners and free kicks if you've watched me play so you know i can even have that on the one i just don't want to get counter attack with the players in box 
and this is kind of be gonna be this is kind of gonna be dependent on your playing instructions well it is for mine and you'll see why anyway so four is pretty cool for that four or five is gonna be good enough instructions both fullback stay back while attacking just because you do not want to get caught out even when you're attacking it's an essential just because you need that extra defense at the the width and then we've got both dms stay back cover center again i already explained the reason we've got the lamp and the ramp on game box across just to make more alternating runs i always do r1x which is a driven pass if you've seen our crossing tutorial and i always manage to get goals with our other wingers just by doing the cross and they make runs into the box so this definitely helps from the attacking phases to sort of pull out defenders as well main cam is on basic and balance and then the shalom striker the reason i don't do getting behind anymore is just because I feel like I have less options when it's like that and I can easily trigger his run himself. So it doesn't really matter to me. Now, the attacking. I run the 4-4-2 just because it's a bit more attacking than the 4-2-3-1 and it gives me something different in my game. But I do really recommend if you do not want to use that formation, the 4 triple 2 and the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. I do have custom tactics tutorials on that as well. Or you can keep the tactics the same and just change the formation. So they're the three that I recommend. And now we've got balance 5-5, five, five, so we got the depth by one. Long ball, it's not Sam Allardyce football. Basically, it means we're going to go from defense to attack in a split second, not necessarily via a long ball, but via a chip through ball or a normal through ball, just because this year, through ball is even more deadly, and this will allow you to counter attack so much quicker, and it will help with your attack a bit more. Whip is five, players and boxes five. We just up that by one, make it a little bit more attacking. Formation is set for me, the 4-4-2. I'm enjoying it at the moment. Stay back while attacking for both fullbacks and then we've got both the stay back cover center and then we've got the left mid and right mid getting box across just to make the alternating runs you can do getting behind if you like but i haven't actually chose that because like i said i just trigger the runs myself l1x or lbx if you're on xbox and then i've got one striker the faster one on getting behind and then the other one drops off a bit on mix kind of like a false nine but I do not set him as a false nine ultra attacking the three four two one it looks unorthodox it looks mental it is do not use this unless you're losing by three or four goals and you're willing to accept you might lose by a lot more you might get embarrassed but end of the day i feel like losing three nil is pointless i definitely want to come back this gives you a really good chance of coming back but yeah i just want to tell you there is risk that comes with potential reward i have pressed off the possession loss because by the deep padding game we can go constant pressure so that gives you two options five whip seven depth fast build up five and then we've got seven players in box and then three three this is up to you maybe two two don't really matter for me and it's the three four two one and yeah it's just working really well for me it really smothers the opposition don't allow them to pass and have the ball we've got one of the dms the one that really can't shoot for me can taste stay back cover center and the other one that's a little bit more better at attacking on balance cover center and then we've got the left mid and right mid on balance balance and basic for everything and then the right winger and left winger on getting behind just to make more dashing runs as we've got the left mid covering and then we've got the lone striker on stay forward getting behind that is that i definitely recommend at least having the attacking and defensive because they're the ones i tend to use 95 percent of the time i don't often have to use the ultra attacking and occasionally i will switch to the ultra defensive depending on how the game is going but yeah do see how every match goes like you you'll know once you play the game a lot more whether you need to go ultra defensive etc it depends on the minute your position their team stuff like that but yeah thank you much for watching this video i hope it does help you maybe we'll see you guys on stream comment down below how your weekend league is going as well if you do not want to join us but yeah it's been your boy at least one more thing to say don't forget to like and subscribe safe